Oh my God, it's the fat bull here. Hey, look, I'm wearing my I find hat. That's when I'm serious metal detecting when I'm over in England usually. And when I seriously metal detect over here, you know, when I go to like some, some different hunts and stuff. So, hey, guess what? Talking about serious hunts. Hey, don't forget, you still have that opportunity to go on the carnival cruise here with me. Uh, we're gonna have three of them still. Uh, looks like Jeff can't make it with me on the first one on the January 11th one, but hey, I'll still be there January 11th, um, leaving out of Miami on the wonderful uh, carnival ship, the Conquest. It's going to be a great time. It's seven days. There's going to be four ports. Um, it's going to be fun. The first one, the first port is going to be, uh, what is the first port? It's going to be Grand Caymans. So we're going to have the seven mile beach to go ahead and metal detect. Um, I'm going to have a thing take us all the way up to the end. And then we can hike down, you know, for four hours and then we can get on a bus and it'll take us back to the ship. Um, then uh, the next one is going to be, uh, it's going to be Honduras, which is it's going to be a, a small island that, that, that belongs to them. Um, and that one's going to be an easy one because we're going to just stay at the port there. And they have their own little resort and they have a wonderful little beach thing. And we're going to ride a, uh, um, like a ski lift. And it's like $5 or $20. I don't know, $5 to $20 a person. I don't remember what the price is. But we'll figure it out and it's not that big of a deal. And they have a fairly large beach. So um, some of us will have to do water hunting. Some of us will can do beach hunting. Um, so, and it's owned by Carnival, so we're fine. So, um, you know, I've already checked in, you know, I've already, you know, Carnival has already given me permission before. So that means everybody will have permission. So we're fine. Um, then the next one is going to be Belize. So Belize is going to be a no metal detecting because there's no really any good beaches for us to hunt. Now, if you scuba dive and stuff, you can go do a little scuba dive trip. With Carnival, you can go ahead and put in a little extra doohickey and think and go with them. Um, or you can do a little shopping, um, you know, or you could go see how how they live. There's a couple little things that you could do. Um, you know, whatever. Whatever you want to do. Whatever you want to do. I might just stay on the ship, maybe get a massage. You know, maybe just eat a guy's burgers. Maybe just swim in the pool. I don't know what I'm going to do. I just don't know. I just don't know. And don't forget, we all want to have early dining and ask for to be able to sit with the fat fool Rick Landacre. That's me. <laughs> and then, you know, so that way every night at 6 o'clock, you know, we can go, Tonight, I'm going to have myself a real good time. I feel alive in the world time. Inside out, yeah. Oh, I felt like Freddie Mercury there for a minute. Oh, ah. So, hey, but then the next, the next port, the last port, is going to be Cozumel. Then I'm going to rent us a van, and then we're going to take ourselves to. Uh, I was thinking, I last time I was there, I went to the other side of the island where the locals all go, and I got a whole bunch of silver over there. And uh, one guy got, um, uh, he got himself a couple gold rings out in the water. I did the sand and he did the, he did the water. So I was thinking maybe, you know, I don't know. I mean, you know, or we could do the a couple of the little resort areas, but then if you want to do resorts, you got to let me know ahead of time so I can call and get the permissions from them. Um, but the, the other areas I have permissions already. Um, so... I just got to know what you want to do. So now, um, then if, uh, just, uh, so since, since that one's a little pricey, you know, after, cause you know, when you look at the thing and it says that it's like, you know, $457 and then there's the taxes and then there's the, um, you have to pay gratuity and stuff. So then it ends up being like, you know, 750 a person or something so it ends up being close to like you know one thousand two hundred dollars 
you know, for one little cabin on the inside and stuff like that. So kind of gets a little expensive. So instead of being like, you know, well, I thought it was only going to be like $800. Well, so, and it usually ends up being a lot more. So, but hey, um, we did put on one an overnight, um, but that one takes off from Orlando. Now me and Jeff both will be on that one. So you can detect with Jeff. Now, I know a lot of people want to detect with Jeff because he's a lot of fun, too. And uh, he's fun, too. Um, and that's going to be out of Orlando on the Liberty. That's just an overnight in Nassau. Now, Nassau is a lot of fun, too, but it's an overnighter. And uh, we were going to do uh, uh, a couple of the public beaches at nighttime. So it's going to be kind of, you know, kind of fun. Kind of fun. Now, that's a cheaper, cheaper cruise, so... You know, you can get yourself a, you know, yeah. cabin. That's really cheap. Yeah. Now, that is going to be January 24th, and that's an overnighter. So, now, if you want to do that one, that's going to be an overnighter. And, uh, you know, we'll all watch each other's back. We'll all hit the, you know, hit the beach and stuff. We'll have all day to hit a nice beach, and then we'll hit a, a public beach at nighttime where we can be there at nighttime. <laughs> And then we'll all sleep back on the ship. And then, uh, you know, we don't have to worry about being there on the ship by 7 in the morning because we'll all be sleeping. <laughs> now, the third cruise. <laughs> yeah, it's killing me. I'm going to be broke. I won't be able to make it to England probably now because I threw in a third cruise, you know, because everybody's like, Rick, I can't do a seven-day cruise because it's too expensive. Why are you doing that one? I was just, people asked me to do a seven-day cruise. So they said, Rick, do a smaller cruise. So, so I did the overnighter. Rick, that's too damn small. I want to do something longer. So I did it. So we're doing one on the 27th. Oh, wait. First, I, I didn't even tell you the cruise, the ship name on uh, the 24th. That's leaving out of Orlando, which is going to, not actually Orlando. It's leaving from Orlando, which they call, um, what do they call that? It was close to Orlando. It's called uh, Cape Canaveral or whatever, whatever. It's, or just call, just you go on the, or it's the Liberty ship called the, the um, Carnival Ship Liberty. So just go book it, Orlando. It'll show you where to go. Then the next one is on the 20, January 27th on the Liberty in the same ship. So we don't have to do much. We just have to get off the ship go through customs and then I get back on the ship, me and Jeff get back on the ship and uh, we're gonna get a room right down the hall from where our room was. So, it's still gonna be early dining on that one too, but we're gonna do, you know, not that big of a deal on the other ship because we're not gonna be there for early dining. So, but this one's gonna be early dining. Now this one's gonna hit Nassau and Freeport and I haven't decided how we're gonna do Freeport, so. But, um, um, I don't know who's all going to do that one, but whoever wants to do that one, you have to email me, tell me what we want to do. Let me know, um, you know, instant message me and tell me what you want to do. And remember, whoever whoever wants to go, you got to let me know, you know, what you need. If you don't have a met metal detector, you know, let me know. Um, uh, I need to know these things before we go. Um, um, I'm going to go strictly, I'm going to be metal detecting strictly with, uh, the Simplex. I'm not sponsored by my, uh, Nat, whatever, Ma, what, Nocta, Magro. I'm not sponsored by them. So, but I am going to go strictly with the Simplex. With the Simplex. I'm not even going to put the damn thing together until I get there. I'm not even going to try the damn thing out. I'm not going to try it out until I get there. I'm just going to see how easy it is. You know, I'm going to just put it together because they say, you know, you can put it together, charge it up the night before and go out there and use it. Any fool could do it. I'm going to try it. So I'm going to do my best. So usually in the salt water, um, I mean, on, on the conquest before, on that same ship, on the conquest on that I'm doing the big, the big, 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 big cruise, the seven day one, um, 
this this one has been on that one. If you ever if you ever look at it, you'll see he has some sexy pictures in there, you know, on the bed, and he has it in the window, you know. So I've used the Max before on the Conquest. So I've been on that ship before, and I've used the Max. The Max worked wonderful in salt water. Um, I have no complaints with this one in the salt water. None, none. He does a really good job in salt water. I kid you not. You know, so, I mean, you know, I still, I, so people say, well, Rick, Rick, why don't you use your Max more? You know, because, because I love my gold. <laughs> I love my AT gold. You know, I mean, me and the Max, we get along. I mean, I still use them. You know, I, I use this one a lot still. I mean, you know, I just don't, people don't get to see me use this one as much. See, this one still loves me. It <laughs> kisses me. <laughs> Stop it, you little bugger. <laughs> so, but, you know, and, and I'm going to tell you, you know, and, and I'll tell you, one of the, the number one um, sand machines in, you know, in salt water, you know, by salt water, I hate to tell you this, is going to be one of the ace machines. The ace machines are really good. As long as you, but remember, you can't get them wet, you know? And I'm gonna tell you another one that, that does really good, and, and I've used it, I've used it on uh, on another cruise. I used it on, uh, what ship did I use you on? I used it on one of my other cruises, and I use this one when I go to England too sometimes. I use this one when I go, and it's the Equinox. I use the Equinox too, so yeah. I, yeah, I use the Equinox too. I use this when I want to go to England too sometimes. But I, I, but yeah, you know, the gold goes with me most of the time too. Everybody knows that I use the gold probably, probably 75%, you know, when I go. So, but then I added to my arsenal to my arsenal this year and it does really good and it's really light because my shoulder has gone bad i added the orcs the xp orcs and i tell you it's light and it works pretty good so um i haven't done it by salt water but it works really good so but yeah so if anybody is gonna go on one of the cruises and they do want to use uh, a uh a one that can go in the water um, so we have the, I have the AT Max, I got the AT Pro, I got the, um, I got the Equinox, I got the Equinox, and then anybody who wants to hunt in the sand, I got, I got Ace 250s, Ace 300s, you know, I got the, I got all those, so we got whatever you need on that, so you just have to let me know, and then, um, um, now I got headphones for, uh, you know, for for everything. So whatever we need. Crazy, isn't it? But yeah, but I'm not sponsored by anybody. <laughs> I'm just a poor guy. Sad, sad makes me want to cry. But yeah. I am going to be using the Simplex, and Jeff will be using the Simplex, too. He's going to be doing the same thing as me. We're both going to uh, uh, just put the damn things together on the boat, charge them up that night, and just go for it. Just, oh, oh. We'll see if we can find anything with them. So, hey, guess what? This video is like four times longer than anything I've ever done. But you know what? I love you guys, and uh, I hope you guys all come on one of the ship rides with us, uh, you know, on the cruises and stuff. Hope you guys will come and eat with me, and uh, I love you all, and uh, it's going to be a great time. Uh, so, love you guys. Guess what I'm going to say now? Guess. Come on. Come on. Somebody make a guess. Come on. Who said, who said that ahead of me? Stop saying it before me. Okay, boo-boy.